For the second year in a row, the ETU European Championship Powerman is held in the city of Horstenamaas in the Netherlands. The long distance race is 15 kilometers of running, 60 kilometers on the bike, and again 7.5 kilometers of running. In the men's race, a leading group of athletes is formed, among which defending European champion Yuri van Steland from Belgium and last year's runner up from France, Anthony Ledouet. Around halfway the first running leg, it seems that the reigning champion is not in his best shape and has to drop from the lead group. After a super fast first running leg, a group of seven have pulled out a lead of almost a minute over the rest of the pack. Swiss Andreas Sutz and Belgians Bart Arnouts and Rob Wussenborst put up a high pace on the bike leg and pull further away from the other contenders. Also on the bike, Van Steland is not able to keep up and eventually even abandons the race. Wustenborst has the fastest transition and takes the lead in the first part of the final run. Arnouts quickly closes the gap and joins him at the head of the race. Their pace is too much for Andreas Sutz who is now running in third. In the final kilometer it is Arnouts who managed to shake off his good friend Wustenborst who has to settle for silver. Andreas Sutz gladly takes the bronze. I'm, I'm very happy, I'm very pleased with the result today. Uh, I was not a, a main focus, I mean, I was not focusing on this race, but it's always good if you come back to Duathlon to do a race uh, with such a result. It's, it's nice. In the women's race, defending European champion Lucy Gossage from Great Britain turns up the heat quickly and dictates a fast pace on the first running leg. Athletes drop from the lead group one by one and eventually three leaders get to the first transition. Lucy Gossic, Jenny Schultz from Germany and Sabrina Monmarteau from France. Not far behind are Swedish women Eva Nystrom and Camilla Lindholm. On the bike Nystrom closes the gap with Gossic and rides to second position. Monmarteau has to allow Lindholm to pass to fourth and Schultz is riding in third. Gossic and Nystrom pull in the second transition about two minutes ahead of Schultz. So it's these two women who are going to battle it out for the gold. Lucy Gossic again takes a lead on the run over Nystrom. Nystrom is uh, unable to close the gap and Lucy Gossic takes the European title for the second year in a row. Nystrom comes in second and Jenny Schultz takes the third and final spot on the podium. Yeah, so I, I was quite nervous before this and first race as well. You don't know how you are but I love racing either. We, we push each other, so it's good. And I ran the first run quite hard. I was, I was hoping someone else would go on the front, but cause I wanted to make it hard to try and get a bit of a gap. Um, and then I knew Eva would catch me on the bike, so I tried to get some nutrition at the first lap, and then when she caught me, I just tried to stay with her. Um, and then, yeah, came into T1 just ahead of her, and yeah, just ran, ran as hard as I could, I guess. <laughs> And to wrap things up, these are the top 10 finishers for the men and for the women.